what's frustrating you? Oh, I've been studying this book for years and I still don't understand everything. I don't understand. How long have you been studying it for? My whole life. You think 20 odd years is enough to learn everything in the Bible? Well, I mean, the Bible lesson study said we must educate ourselves in the Word, so I'm trying to do that, but... Jody, you could study every second of your life for the next 100 years, and you won't know everything in the Bible. Enoch worked with God for 300 years, and he didn't know everything. But I want to learn! Well, you look like you're pretty frustrated sitting over here. Have you considered other ways we can learn about God? What other ways? Come, I'll show you. Okay. Do you want to know what's one of my favorite ways to learn about God? Yep, definitely. Turn with me to Job 12, 7 to 10. Okay. Job 12, verse 7. But ask the animals and they will teach you, or the birds in the sky and they will tell you, or speak to the earth and it will teach you, or let the fish in the sea inform you. Which of all these does not know that, that the hand of the Lord has done this? In his hand is the life of every creature and the breath of all mankind. That's so beautiful. <laughs> so, yeah, we can learn about God through reading his word and by praying, which is so important. But you can get out there in nature, and Jesus used to do it all the time. So which of the commandments is the most important? Well, Jesus actually answered that question in the New Testament. Brandon, I'm not asking you. I'm asking the bunnies. Oh, I get it. Job 12, verse 7? Exactly. Ask the animals. Oh. I don't think that's exactly what I was trying to say. It's in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to bite me. What did he say? <laughs> what was the answer, Riley? Ask him. This is being. <laughs> so let's look at Daniel and his friends for a second and see where they got their knowledge from. Turn with us to Daniel 1 verse 17. To these four young men, God gave knowledge and understanding. To, of all kinds of literature and learning, and Daniel could understand visions and dreams of all kinds. So, as you can see here, is it important to jump into this book and read every single page? Yes, it is. But it doesn't matter what uh, amazing mind you have, it doesn't matter if you're a theologian with a hundred years of experience, simple knowledge alone and smarts is not going to give you understanding. God is going to give you understanding and knowledge. So it's very important that you actually speak with God, build a relationship with Him, and He will give you an understanding of this book. So Jody, why is it important for a Christian to study their Bibles? Because you just want to get to know God. I want to learn about Him. Oh, well, that's awesome. But why don't you turn with me to Proverbs 1 verse 7. Give that a read for me and you'll maybe get a deeper understanding of the importance as to why we should study our Bible. Okay, Proverbs 1 verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Okay. Isn't that kind of interesting? Yeah, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. If I want to have knowledge of God, I should fear Him. What does that mean? Well, what do you think it means to fear God? Be scared of Him. No, it actually doesn't mean. Is that a bug? Yes, it's a bug. It's you should rather be afraid of those guys. Don't be afraid of God. Okay. To fear God simply means to respect God. So Do before not you. Swat him. <laughs> yes, please don't spot God like a bug. So long before we step into our Bibles and we try to uh, get an understanding of His Word, we should ask ourselves Do we respect Him? Do we care for Him? Do we actually love Him? When we love Him, that's when we'll start getting the knowledge you're looking for. That makes sense. You know something? There's a reason why God gave us two ears and one mouth. How often are we looking for knowledge, but we're doing the most talking, telling everyone this, sharing this idea with people, and it's great to share your faith, but sometimes you just gotta listen. Like that Christian blogger, Jody? Yes, Justin Coe. He's awesome. You should check him out, by the way. We'll throw his videos down in the description just because we think he's cool. Yeah. But anyways, look at what Proverbs 18 verse 15 has to say. The heart of the discerning acquires knowledge, for the ears of the wise seek it out. Seek out knowledge, use these, less of this, <laughs> but share your faith. <laughs> so as you can see, Jody, there's a lot of different ways we can educate ourselves about God. I see that there's lots and lots of different ways to learn about Him, but 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 definitely says that reading His Word has something to teach us as well. So um, let's read that together. It says, all scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. So while we shouldn't probably only read our Bible to learn about Him, it's definitely part of the things that we should do. Oh, wow. 
That was really fun. It was. It was so cool to like find out all the other ways that I can spend time with God and get to know. Indeed. And I think the one thing that I also learned today was the most important thing is to just have a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Education is very important. But at the end of the day, the most important thing we actually need to know is that Christ died for us. He loves mm -hmm. us and he wants us in heaven with him. Once we accept him as our personal savior, that's the most important thing. A relationship with Christ is far better than knowledge of every prophecy and every book of the Bible. I mean, able to name all the <laughs> patriarchs and prophets. It's awesome and it's good to know. And it will only strengthen your faith. But what you do with the knowledge you currently have is far more important than the knowledge you're missing out on. So accept Christ, let him into your life and have a relationship with him. Hmm. I think it's like learning about God. Um, is just so that you can get to know them to have a better relationship. But like, yes. if you want a relationship with someone, you need to get to know them. Otherwise, you're not going to yeah, know if you like them and if you want to spend more time with them. So God has lots of different ways for you to get to know them. That's really cool. That is so cool. Do you want to pray for us? Okay, cool. Tell you guys. Glasses off, Brennan. <laughs> Did you thank you so much that um, you set up Eden as a place for Adam and Eve to learn about you, Lord, and that you want to get to know us and you want us to learn about you. And it doesn't just have to be through your word, although that is a really exciting place if we um, ask you to show us. But you also want to teach us in through nature and through discussing with friends and through all sorts of things, Lord. You don't want us to just learn in one way. Um, you realize we're all different and we all have different ways of learning about you, Lord. Thank you for that. Um, foresight and please will you help us to get excited about learning about you amen amen, amen. i need answers tell me